Here are a few basics on the new Hovercam software called Flex 10. Double click the icon that says Flex 10. Your Hovercam opens to a live feed. There are three menus that you can use while you're in the live feed. The one on the left is Archive or the last images that you've taken with the Hovercam. The one on the right is annotate. You can write on the document that is underneath the hover cam or add shapes, etc. There's also a clear all button to click and then you can also close the menu back by clicking the arrow. The main control bar is at the bottom of the image. Opening and closing it with those double lines Split screen is a live feed plus a snapshot on this side. You can close it just by clicking the icon. There's slingshot, which allows you to put an image into another software program. There's record which is also a more advanced feature where you will record live video and use it in other programs. I skipped over Snapshot because Snapshot is just a photo of what's underneath your document camera. Multiscan is a kind of a claymation thing. So if you want to take multiple pictures at, in different steps or in different intervals, this is a good one to use. Always close your little windows by the little X at the top right hand corner. Freeze freezes the image. Unfreeze by just clicking the freeze button one more time. View allows you to rotate, mirror the image under the document camera. Zoom is exactly what that sounds like. Zoom in or out. You may do this from the uh, desktop with your mouse or you can go do it on the board with your hands, the interactive board. Focus is um, exactly what that says. If there's something underneath it that needs focusing, you should just be able to click that and go. Control based on your um, lighting in your classroom, you may want something brighter or possibly more contrast. Again, close the window with the little red, little X at the top right. And then there's cropping, where you can actually take a chunk of what's underneath your document camera and use it in another program as well. I'm going to click Escape to get out of the crop. Settings is exactly that. This uh, has all your settings for your hover cam. They should be on the correct default setting, so you shouldn't have to do too much with that. And we're going to close it with the X at the top right hand corner.